So to start with, I'm entering the BIOS. I will be disabling the internal battery, ready to be opened. I'll also disconnect the AC and we are good to go. To start with, I use a SIM tool to remove the SIM tray. And I'll lay it back down. Next, I will unscrew the six screws holding the base in place. These screws don't come all the way out, so just be careful. Next, we need to carefully pry it all the way around. I suggest if the laptop is made of plastic, use a metal tool. If the laptop is made of metal, use a plastic tool. Clips holding the base all the way around, so make sure they get unclipped. Do note with this laptop, you can't take the base cover off too many times. It will be like this with most laptops. After a few times, the clips may become fragile and may break if you try to take off the base and they can snap. If they do, the base cover won't properly sit. Um, the screws will help with that, but you will notice the edges will sit out a little bit on the laptop. Some make more of a noise than others, especially the side ones here. As you can see, the plastic is quite thin. Let's show you the thickness there. And there are clips all around the edge here. So they're all the way around. Which you could have probably heard when I took off the base cover. It's a fairly simple procedure. Thankfully, Lenovo haven't been too hard on us. Do you make sure you use the correct tooltip? For this laptop specifically, it is a Philips. Um, there are some different sizes here on the bottom. This is my personal iFixit kit. Just make sure you have your anti-static wristband on. Right, so now we've taken off the base cover, we can see basically everything in the laptop. Here we have the cooler, replaceable SSD, replaceable RAM stick, which at the moment is not occupied. Uh, battery is here. You can see the battery cable. There is actually a dedicated BIOS battery. On this model, the wireless card, as you can see here, is actually built in. Typically, um, it won't be. But with this model, there is also the wireless wide area network or 4G card option. These can come pre-installed, or I believe you can buy them in the aftermarket. As you can see, just a few screws, and the battery will come out if you need to replace that at any point. I would like to have seen another SSD slot, but nowadays you can get up to four terabytes. So that could go down on that side. I believe many of the parts are actual customer replaceable parts. Or as I believe the term is customer replaceable units, CRUs. Typically Lenovo will send you out the part if it's faulty and you are able to replace it yourself. I can't see too many differences between the laptop or the base cover compared to the T14 Gen 1. Other than that it's the 11th Gen Intel. And now I can just show you how to put it back together. I'm going to take the base cover, I'm going to start at the bottom, push it in until you hear two clicks, and then click around the edges. You'll see here, all around the edges, it's clicked in. All there is already clicked in. This last side here. 
and then you can go back to putting the screws in. Quite helpful for Lenovo to give us uh, retention screws so you are unable to lose them. And don't forget your SIM tray. Uh, get the AC again because we disabled the BIOS battery in the beginning. There we have it. See the light flashing? And we're back. There we go.